Welcome back everybody, uh, Jeff Gleason here again going through our next family worship lesson looking at uh, Matthew 6 verse 25 to 34, Matthew 6 25 to 34 which says, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. And I'll just remind you that this family worship lesson is available on our Facebook page. Uh, you can go down there and uh, see the text of it. Uh, so thinking about uh, Matthew 6, 25... There's a life of fear that we saw last time we looked at this. Uh, life of fear described in verse 25. But then in the following verses, uh, there are three examples that are given uh, for uh, why we do not need to have a life of fear. And Jesus gives one of them in verse 26, one of them in verse 27, and one of them in verse 28. So see if you can get your children to identify those uh, for you. It uh, talks about uh, the birds, uh, the flowers, but then in between there, Jesus talks about the uselessness of anxiety and, and worry. And so Jesus is giving uh, all those explanations to us in order for us to see that uh, we rely for life not on uh, our own machinations, our own working, but that God is the one who ultimately, so behind the scenes, God is the one who provides us with everything, everything that we have. And that's especially useful for us today as we're uh, working through the ramifications of the coronavirus and the panic uh, that is spreading uh, in our country. But if you approach the coronavirus in light of the truth of God being in control of all things, God being the sovereign of the world, God who cares for the birds, the flowers, therefore worry isn't uh, of any benefit to you, then we can approach the coronavirus not without caution, but at the same time also not with fear. So, so we come to uh, times of calamity, times of great joy, times of peace, times of war, times of ease, times of difficulty with the same perspective that God is in control, that God is taking care of these things. And therefore, we need not be anxious even in the worst of times. Teach that to your kids. Keep reading from God's word to them. And I'll see you next time.